Okay, are we ready? Hi everyone, it's Lucinda and Trish from the Bees Needs. It's um, Wednesday. Wednesday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> it's a busy time ahead. I'm leaving for England tomorrow, spend a couple of days with mum, and then I'm going to meet Trish and Donna, and we're going to trade show in Birmingham. So there's going to be lots to share in the coming week to 10 days. Yes. The girls will be here holding down the fort, the shop will be open, orders will be shipping out so thanks to them for doing that <laughs> and we have new stuff to show you as well before we go do you want to start with the cell braid so we've had cell braid before you may have seen it before it's scottish made um this particular bit of it is and then there are also part of them is the just slate company um these are new pieces and we had to show you them because of all that love mm -hmm. and it's new valentine's day <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a totally new item from them they're so cute. Look at that. Little egg cups. Well, where so are we fake stuff? eggs? Oh, the fake eggs are nowhere to be seen. But um, we have a lot of, you know, China egg cups. I've never actually seen wooden no. ones like that. And then the Mr. and Mrs. Great, aren't they fun? And great, like, little wedding gifts and things like that. Really wonderful. <laughs> and they come with better half and other half. That would be my one. That's my husband's. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you thought. I'm <laughs> And then obviously we've carried on with the bee and the Highland Coo that everyone loves so much. So we've got some in, in those designs. And here we go. So that's Scottish. But this, all of these are made from Scottish oak from Scotland, sustainably farmed in Scotland. Um, and they're just wonderful. So this is like one of those wine coasters. You've got your wine bottle, bit slurpy and drippy on the table. Pop it in the coaster there. Your might, yours might be slurpy and drippy. Yeah, but just because you lick yours before you put it down doesn't mean you don't need one, I mean. <laughs> and then some great coasters. These coasters have been popular because they're great little gifts. It's a set of two. They're, again, the lovely Scottish oak. Bing. And here we've got them. some with the love. The love them. And the Mr. and Mrs. as well. Or a little engagement gift, don't you? Engagement yeah. gift, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, so someone might give that too. And then for your friends, the best drinks are the ones we share with our friends. Yes. You know who you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but lovely, really nice. So, and then the other thing made of Scottish oak is this large um, serving board, really. They call it lovely. It's the wide paddle, isn't yes, it? Yes, and you mean great for, you know, charcuterie boards are so and cheese, meats, um, just beautiful. Celebrate, yeah. love. Just really lovely. Oh, really. You can do it like in a little, one of those charcuterie boards in a heart, heart shape. shape. Oh. I think you need to do that. Oh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> and then another, this is the olive wood now, isn't so it? So this is from Naturally Med, and it's Mediterranean olive wood, which has this wonderful graining and patterning. Incredibly, like, different shades of wood within the same piece. Like, here it's very pale, and then it goes very dark. If you turn it over, you'll see, look how dark it is here. And then it goes pale there. It's actually Beautiful. quite fascinating. And what does that one say? It says, food with friends. Oh no. oh no, it says food, wine, friends. <laughs> I can't read. Food, wine, friends, the most important one. thing. Of course. And then obviously for Valentine's Day, love at first bite. Isn't that cute? Yeah. You're a little meal for two. And again, the beautiful. And each piece, if you, you get ahead, you're not all going to get this if you order one. No, it's going to look different. Everyone is totally different. Absolutely individual. Um, so yeah, we couldn't tell you what the one you get is going to look like, but it's going to be pretty similar. And here we've got a lovely dish. You can put candies in that dish, mm -hmm. can't you? Put anything. You can put it by your front door and swing your keys in it. You can do whatever you like, but it's a really cute, nicely sort of smoothed out um, heart dish with that lovely grain in there. They're Again, just beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You see the label gets a little bit oil because mm -hmm. of the natural oils in there. Yeah. And the other thing, because we know where these are coming from, and it's a responsible company, they're all food safe. They're treated, um, but they're all food safe. Now that's not the case with all the woodware that you buy in you know, no. other shops. So that's a very key for us. The last thing from them are oh, these things. These flew off the shelves. One lady came in and bought two sets because um, they're the B-handled, gold-handled, cheese knife set. They're very heavyweight, very good quality. They're just beautiful. Beautiful. Um, beautiful. So we read them. <laughs> That little blip is uh, Lucinda's phone ringing. Because there is the oh, shop, shop phone ringing. <laughs> um, and this one, so we got some other cheese knives. Can oh, I help you there? You can't get out. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not going to show you this one. It must be stuck down. Get in that one. Okay, while Trish figures out these, I want these. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 
it's all going wrong. Um, the bee salad service, look how fabulous they are. Really nice. Designed in Scotland, traditionally handmade. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, those are incredible. And it, you, you can't tell, we can't show you how heavy they are, but the, the actual metal is just dropping. The actual metal is very thick, beautifully machined, very smooth. Um, they're gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then we have um, these new cheese knives with the copper handle. Little inset there. Oh, they were new, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can really set a today. beautiful table. And we're waiting for more items to arrive. Of course, international shipping always has its challenges. We expect to get things quicker than we often sometimes do. There are more beautiful slate heart themed things coming, we hope, very soon. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. But you know what these new spoons would go with? Uh, what a what a safe. What a safe. <laughs> <laughs> Am I cutting that? I didn't even think that was sad. I see, I'm thinking ahead. The spoons with your breakfast. So we um, found a fabulous new um, supplier of high-end British snacks and things. And we discovered the cherry tree um, jams. They're called extra jam. They're like extra, which Trish apparently did oh, not know. Oh, what is the extra? What do they mean by They're extra? just extra. Do you know that expression? Extra. extra. Jam. Somebody, extra somebody's just being so extra. Yeah. So these are extra, but this one is black currant with slow gin. They're made in um, England somewhere. They're vegan friendly. Um, and then we've got this Seville orange breakfast. We looked them up and it was really cute. And then lemon curd, really lovely. Oh, and they basically say that you could use this in a lemon meringue pie just straight from the jar yes. in your lemon um, meringue pie. What was it they said about this one? This was, um, oh, where's the amaretto one? Oh, it's baked uh, off. Baked Tarts, that's the jam, the jam for baked corn tarts. It's cherry with amaretto in it, and it gives you that nice sort of uh, taste of baked corn tarts when you're eating it. So. And then we also found these fabulous, like little cheesy, cheesy snacking cheese, crunchy snacking cheese. One with truffle, uh, with caramelized onion, with rosemary, oh. and with Mitchell. Sure, should we try the caramelized onion? Yeah, so that's the one I want. Which one is it? No, no, not that one. That's, that's, that's yeah, caramelized onion. Yeah. And with a lot of the snacks and crisps we've been getting lately have these very thick packages. I think give it a really, you know, makes it stay mm. really fresh. Crunchy. Oh, with a glass of wine. So, mm. this is made of 95.9% .9 Italian um, aged cheeses. So a little bit of seasoning and some natural flavour and a citric acid. It's a very natural product. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying it's good for you all fat free. I'm not no. saying that. <laughs> but not bad. But it you. is. But it is, yeah, there aren't, you know. Oh, that was a little things. snack with a drink. Oh, I'll yeah. Another one. Oh, my God. Keo's chips from Ireland. Very Again, popular. Again, got that thick packaging. Yep. Um, Atlantic sea salt and sweet Irish vinegar. We will try those. That's another time. Mm -hmm. And then, do you remember these? See, when we got these in, I used to have those when I was little. I used to love them. And look, they still make them with the foil and the sleeve. And so I tried one, but obviously the people here need to see it as well. You think? Well, you've got to know what an animal bar is. So what you, what you do is you take this thing off the sleeve. And as when I was a little kid, there's a puzzle in there. Oh, a little yeah. maze puzzle in the wrapper. And then you open the foil. Listen to that. Isn't that lovely? And then, um, oh, well, it's, uh, you know, everything nowadays is wrapped in balling. And then you've got your zoo animals and you can cut it in half so you can share it. But I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick with the snacking cheese. Right. Anyway, going with this. We're, going, we're going on. We're just heading into Tony's Tuck Shop. Show you a couple more new tasty treats. So before Christmas, we had um, just a Terry's Orange vegan chocolate bar. And people have been, it's sold out quickly and people have been asking. So we have stocked some fabulous vegan chocolate from England. Hip oat milk, it's called hip chocolate with there's oat milk, she just can't Gerald, talk she's got a mouth salted milk. caramel, salted caramel, salted honeycomb, and then creamy and smooth, just the chocolate, and that one is, is the, um, oh, cookies, cookies, no, cookies no cream, cookies no cream, so it's all made with oat milk, so it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans, it's all plant-based ingredients, plastic free film, um, it's all everything you ever wanted for that sort of thing. Same. And they also, we have a couple of them in a snack size to try. Mm -hmm. So they're fabulous. And then these gorgeous looking ones, chocolate and love. Were they also vegetarian? These ones I believe are vegan. Too. Yes, because it says vegan. Oh, right. Pomegranate, dark chocolate, 
we've got one with um, just rich dark chocolate and uh, and Panama single origin dark chocolate, 80% dark chocolate. So if you're a dark chocolate fan, that's the one. And this one is um, an orange, dark chocolate and orange vegan. So what are they using here? Is it um, cocoa butter? This isn't an oat milk one per no. se, is it? No. no, it's not. So I'm not sure what they're doing. But anyway, they're, they're, it's an English company, English mm -hmm. produced, but it's actually uh, made in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're pretty well known for their chocolates. Mm -hmm. Say no more about them because they're very and this isn't vegan, but it, look, it's by James Cadbury, who is, I believe, the great, great, great grandson of the founder of the very famous Cadbury chocolate. And he started his own specialty um, chocolate company trying to produce sustainably. This says, inspired by my great, great, great grandfather, John Cadbury, I created Love Cocoa with the purpose of making great tasty chocolate in a way that is loved by you, the planet and its people. So we have got a crushed coffee. Milk okay, chocolate. This one. <laughs> so I'm going to get this out to the counter. This is a Prosecco milk chocolate. If you look in there, I thought, is that salt on there? It looks just like salt, doesn't it? Um, that's actually popping candy. So when you put it in your mouth, it's like having a glass, glass of bubbly wine. <laughs> 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 Can't wait to try that. Um, so then we don't forget we've got the Oreo Choc on Chocs for Valentine's Day. The little love heart. The XOXO with hearts. And the lips. And there are hearts, two fabulous Valentine's gifts. Um, Island Bakery. Someone asked about this. We had a it? customer contact us if we could get the Island Bakery shortbread. We should try these as well. <laughs> Just wow. a regular shortbread. No, we've got another one. I'm dying to try that. Anyway, it's a lemon melt, so it's sort of half covered in um, a, a white chocolate. Um, it's, it just looks delicious. We have, this is what people have been asking for, an oat cake. So we have an organic oat cake, Scottish oat cake. These are made on the Isle of Mull, way up in Scotland. If you, the is pictures, it, it looks oh, beautiful. It looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Apple crumbles. Um, oh, like and here, this is with the cheese biscuits. So the cheese flavoured biscuits. Lovely savoury treat. And then the regular shortbread cookies. So a really nice producer of um, biscuits that someone recommended to us. And look, we've got the little Scottish and don't forget. And a Highland Coo. And a Highland Coo. And they're all organic. Yeah. I've got to throw that in because that's organic. very important. Now, and the right? Eccles cakes, have we mentioned those yet? From Lancashire. Is that right? Lancashire. Lancashire. Um, so it's not a puffy pa uh, pastry type um, treat. Stuffed with raisins. Is it raisins? It is raisins. Or currants, I think. Currants. Yeah. It's a dried fruit. Um, and they have a lot of pure, made with pure butter. They're delicious. <laughs> so we've got those in there. Um, and then last but not least, say, my, back to my department, the crisps, the potato chips. So I tried them. Taste. Oh, so if you've ever had, I don't like to say this, but there are other chipstick brands and they're kind of a little grainy and they can get stuck in your mouth a little bit. Because I'm like, just like, come on, they're just and bit oh And I just love the flavour in my mouth. These are actually a sturdier, more even texture. And they don't get all claggy in your mouth. They absolutely really are the best. And they're from Cato, which Sylvia, who's filming, is from Northern Ireland, and she thinks Cato are the best. And they are pretty good, as we have found. Yes, they are good. And then you're going to do. Last but not least, a brand new, because I never met a crisp I didn't like. These Kent crisps, oh my gosh. I tried a bag of these because I had to, so we could tell you. I did. Absolutely too. one of the best crisps I've ever had. So Ashmore cheese and onion. This is an oyster and vinegar. Ham and mustard actually tastes like a ham musk sandwich, yeah. and then just a sea salt with great pictures on. So again, give they've these... got that great packaging. That yeah, keeps them really, really fresh. fresh. I think yeah. that's really key too. So them. give those a try. Yeah. The tuck shop is restocked after Christmas with lots of new things and new things. All these treats we've just introduced are under the uh, the treats category under new treats and yes. tea and biscuits new treats. So you'll find them all there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Are there any questions, Sylvie? No well, questions. We need no. to get back to those cookies. We've got a bit of a date with our biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> and we, um, we will probably speak to you from England at this point yes. as I'm off tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we can't wait to share everything with you yeah. when we're there. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.